Game four, I uh, will have posted an annotation to uh, game three on what happened, but for those tuning in here, there was a power outage. There's a lot of rumors to what's going on. Some say Boxer uh, uh, came and unplugged the power because Flash was losing. Uh, but the referees decided basically that Jadong was the winner of the last match, and Frank and I kind of agreed a little bit uh, just because we kind of went back and watched the game over and over and over again. The idea was just, you know, Jadong should have been able to hold off that bottom left base with all the swarms. Jadong was four bases to Flash's two almost mined out bases and then one mineral patch with no gas. So that was the decision, whether you agree with it or not. Oops, let me center the uh, video here. Whether you agree with it or not, you know, hey, uh, it, it does kind of suck. But uh, we are going to go to uh, game, uh, four, game 4 here. And uh, Game 4 is going to be on Fighting Spirit. So that's where we currently are here. Uh, and you can see Flash going for a barracks first. Flash is tired after the last game. He is going barracks first. We are going to... I mean, this is definitely considered... A, a cheesy move, even if it's not proxy, it is still a relatively cheesy move. And Jadong going nine for a nine pool. Holy uh. crap, ladies and gentlemen. We have an aggressive build from both players, so it's not necessarily going to be over for either of them. Uh, Jadong is going to go for the nine pool, get early lings. Flash is going. It already is going to have Marines out, so just complete luck of both players actually able to... Uh, just totally 100% luck that both players won for such an aggressive build. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting. I think right off the bat, Jadong, though, if he can if he can hold off these early Marines, I think that he's going to be a little bit in the lead here. And we did see that, actually. I heard somewhere today, I think it was in some kind of an, uh, an interview or something like that. I forget exactly where I heard it. But Flash likes to go for a 7, and we do have a, a hatchery going down for here for Jadong as well. Flash sending out the dual scouts. Um, but yeah, Jadong, or sorry, Flash likes to go for the seven racks rather than the eight racks. And the ah. problem here, actually, what we're, we're going to run into here is Jadong has seen the SCV in the top left with his overload, and he's going to see the second SCV, so he's going to know that there's going to be pressure coming really early. So Jadong's going to be able to prepare for this right now. He's going to use that fourth larva there to produce even more Zerglings to defend this. So, um, yeah, Jadong's definitely going to be in a position to, to fight this off. And now that Flash has scouted this, he's sending his Marines back home. So Flash, unable to to pull off this cheese he's gonna have to go back in a macro mode here and we're gonna have to see maybe he's gonna throw up a command center what is that right there no it's no another barracks so he's gonna go for a two racks built wow. here really early on pressure 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 here it comes yeah that's huge jadon is committing he is i mean this is almost an all-in build here uh you know going for just a straight up two racks opening here he has to do damage i mean I don't, i'm not sure if he's gonna go for a a uh, bunker rush and get some SCVs out. Well, actually, the problem is he really he can't go for a bunker rush. I, I don't know why I'm saying that. Jadong has his lings out, and uh, you know the lings are going to be a threat on the map this entire time. Uh, meanwhile, Jadong getting up his third hatchery, so you know Jadong able to just continue try, uh, getting his economy up and going for three hatch build. I mean, I suppose as you can see there, it might just end up being a standoff where both players are like, "Well, crap, uh, he did what countered what I wanted to do, and I did what countered what he wanted to do." But getting a Ling run by there, so uh, wow, Jadong with what I like to call a KY Zergling, able to slip that Zergling past the uh, Marines there and go around. Of course, this is a large map, so there's a lot of places to fit through. Um, meanwhile, though, Flash also has a scouting SCV in Jadong's base, so both players, very high level right now, able to both get an eye on what's going on. And Flash is pushing out now with five or six Marines coming in. Um, I mean, I would assume Jadong would be able to defend this um, unless he's just been focusing a lot on just drones and hasn't been making any more Zerglings. I'm not sure if he's going to try to run by, but no, he is getting the Sunken Colony. Sunken Colony is going to come just in time. And ooh, Jadong almost going in and picking off a Marine. So yeah, I mean, if something doesn't happen in the next maybe two or three minutes as far as this game goes, and uh, damage is going to be done. Uh, Flash might try to go for a sunken break here. There is only one sunken. He can easily break that sunken with the amount of Marines have that he has. So we're going to see if Flash is going to go in here. If Flash can break that sunken and go in and start getting some drone kills, that could mean the game right there. And that could be a big deciding moment. Because Flash decided to go for the 2x, he has enough macro. Flash already macroing. And there are the Marines ready to go. 
Um, so there is there is enough, and wow, Jadon getting another sunk in there. I wish Flash would have went in a little bit earlier if he wanted to try to get that advantage. Lair Tech also going up here as well, so just a crazy game overall. And I feel like this is a, a missed opportunity for Flash, although he still could break two sunkens. The Medic is on the way as well, so we're going to see if uh, Jadon can react and defend against his attack. Possibly going around, though, Jadon with a run by and Fire Bats coming out, probably going to sit on the ramp. And uh, wow, uh, uh, one of the fire bats going down, another of the fire bats getting some hits here. So Jadong definitely toying a little bit and getting in there. But is he going to be able to defend off this sunken break that's going to come? Um, I, I, I actually think that he is going to be able to defend this off. The one medic is there. However, there are three sunken colonies on the front door. And finally, Flash is going to push in here really late, though. I wish he would have gone in earlier. Like you were saying, all the sunken colonies are just doing massive damage to these Marines. The drones are off the line as well. Not even a single sunken colony going down there. And that whole medic Marine ball getting lost to the sunken colonies. Um, static defense is coming out ahead there for Jadong. And it looks like a Flash is now setting up his command center in his natural... Um, just now, and he's not going to be able to do anything against these mutalisks, especially if oh. Jadon decides to be just as aggressive. An excellent micro there coming out of Flash, though. A Lynx around trying to go off there, not happening. Spire is now on the way, so we're going to see, though. Jadon needs to be super aggressive. Excuse me, Jadon needs to be super aggressive with these mutalisks in order for this to be um, the game closer, the series closer, and an MSL title for Jadon. So, uh, I don't know. It's it, like I like I said, man. It's up to aggression, and I don't think Flash is going to have enough on the on uh, at his home base to defend against this. He's got a fire bat out to defend against the Lings, but he does not have the engineering bay up. Engineering bay is just now coming up. He's definitely not going to have turrets up in time for for when these mutalists come in here. Mutalists are going to be morphing soon. I don't know why those larvae are not turning into mutalists just now, but uh, they should be morphing soon. So. Flash is going to have to rely on his Medic Marine Micro here to take down these Mutalisks. And to be completely honest, with the way that Jadon was showing off his Mutalisk Micro in the first game, I don't know if Flash is going to be able to do this. Well, this is not a standard three-hatch build, so Jadon doesn't have the normal Mutalisk timing. Um, he's been obviously focusing a lot on Sunkins and Zerglings, so that has set back the Mutalisk timing. It might be just enough time for Flash to maybe get up a couple turrets, but Flash is going to have to defend a massive Mutaling force here. He is building a bunker. He is Transferring his SCVs right now. Um, is the bunker going to go up in time? It might barely make it up in time. This is the pivotal moment, ladies and gentlemen. Is Jadon going to come away with a win? Flash having to move his units back into his base because he knows the impending attack is coming. And let me refresh the stream here because I don't want to not have a stream right at this moment in the game. This is the absolute worst moment for this to happen. And here we go. Uh, Jadon is coming back in. The turrets were up, as I mentioned before. So turrets are up. Oh, God. This is the absolute worst time for a stream this to lag, guys. Guys, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. You can see the percentage at the uh, top left of the screen there. Uh, it's not coming back faster for me. I am oh, going to refresh God. this. This is terrible. Um, I might I might just uh, move this commentary over the actual video if this doesn't work for us here. All right. We're going to live now. We're just going to go to NBC Live to see if their screen their stream is up and running. It, it's up. Um, it's up. It's up. Oh, it's back up over there. All right. There it is. Yeah. Let me stop Going that and go time. there. All right, and then it's down again. All right. Well, their stream's not working. Oh God! So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the NBC stream here. I am sorry, guys. This is terrible. I'm trying to load this well, up. Well, the bunker on the front court door got taken. All right, there's this. All right, let me uh, copy this just in case I need it, and then go back to this stream here. Lurker Tech, by the way, I'm just going to pick pick up here. Lurker Tech is now on the way, and it doesn't look like those Mutalisks did actually a lot of damage there. Um, I haven't seen a look at the natural just yet, and some Lings are running in here, going to try oh. to take out some turrets. The Mutalisks are coming back around here as well. The Medic Marine, however, has come back and completely screwed up all of these Zerglings. So they're going to... Um, so Jadong now producing even more Zerglings, and he's got some Hydralisks out now as well, as well as a third base at the top left, and I think Jadong is looking to hide that expansion. I don't think he wants to defend that. However, a, a nice uh, combined attack here coming in with Lings and Mutalists to try to deal with this Medic Marine Force, and he's dealing with it quite well, and it looks like Flash actually might be out of this game. We're going to see if Flash can macro back up here, fight his way back into this one. The Zerglings are picking away at that uh, that turret there, the, which is the only thing defending that natural. And those SCVs trying to do a little bit of a drill there, trying to uh, disrupt the AI of those Zerglings. GG! Oh my god. That is oh, it. No, it is GG. My stream just had to catch up there, and it's GG from Flash. So, Jadong takes the MSL title. Wow. That well, is... Kind of anticlimactic there a little bit for me, but still, really epic game. 
And uh, wow, great play from uh, from Jadon. I'm just I'm blown away here. We're back on the uh, U stream now, so we're gonna see this man Jadon going over, shaking hands with Flash. Uh, just just crazy overall. Um, I mean, we saw some very exciting games neck and neck after the first two games. Game one, game two, uh, and then obviously the infamous game three that will literally go down in StarCraft right. history. You guys saw it live here. Um, man, I just I don't even know what to say when it comes to that. But Jadong, you know, both players going for similar rush builds. Uh, Flash missing the timing opportunity. I, I have not seen Flash miss a timing opportunity that bad, I don't think, ever. Yeah, that was uh, that was really just odd. I don't know. I, I think everything just got thrown off in that last game there, just because. Just he went for he just wanted. I think he just wanted cheese. I think he wanted to end it early, and he just got completely caught by. Uh, again, it's just a rock paper scissors thing there. He just he got his rock papered, and that's that's really what it came down to. He had to turn around, come back home, and then just everything was just downhill from there. I kind of saw it coming once Jadon threw up those. Uh, those three hatcheries and he just got himself in such a strong economic position and uh yeah flash tried to come back with economy and it just didn't work but really great aggressive play from jadong still 